Alrighty folks, uh, you're just catching me here uh, in the middle of, I suppose, what's a somewhat mund mundane uh, but very necessary job on the Panzer. So, so I said I'd make a quick little video here uh, just about what's going on. As we know from a previous installment, the Panzer's ABS pump and uh, hydraulic control block um, were basically dead and causing an ABS warning light to illuminate <clears throat> and as we have our NCT test coming up soon uh, we need to do something about that so um, just literally finished getting the old pump out which is this one uh, it's quite ratty and corroded um, and app app apparently uh, there are very common failure points uh, in this particular vehicle due to the fact that they're located there in the wheel well where they can get exposed to the elements. Now, getting an ABS pump for an E31 is a bit like trying to find rocking horse poo and when you do find it, uh, it's just extremely expensive. So, done some looking around and a bit of research over the past few months and uh, got myself a pump here um, let me just bring you, you guys in a bit so the pump on the right there or lower down in the frame is basically out of a E39 uh, 525 diesel um, it's the exa exact same Bosch and BM BMW part number um, as the E31 part. The electrical and the hydraulic fittings are the exact same. The only difference is in this mounting bracket which we're, we're just going to swap over from the old pump uh, to the replacement. And I'm going to get it in there. Now, there's been some talk about coding being necessary. Um, but I don't actually see that and I'll tell you why. These are just dumb uh, hydraulic pumps and valve blocks. There's no computer in here at, at, at all. Um, if you look at the wiring diagrams, it's the, it's the ABS computer in the footwell there that does all of the... Uh, high level functions and it just switches on relays to control the pump and then triggers uh, solenoid valves within the pump body to determine where the hydraulic fluid goes basically. So I cannot see how there can be a problem uh, running that pump uh, in place of this pump. However I could be wrong, wouldn't be the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and do all this stuff. I'm going to swap over the brackets and get the pipes hooked up and the electrical connections hooked up and we're going to bleed the brakes and all that mundane stuff. I'm not going to bore you guys tearlessly with that. Um, if you want to know about bleeding brakes there's a hundred different and far better videos on YouTube on that particular subject than I could ever make. Um, so right, I'll come back uh, when I have it done and we'll see if the damn thing works and if it does um, this could be quite important for other E31 um, owners because the cheapest genuine quote unquote E31 second hand pump that I could find was over a thousand pounds sterling whereas I got this one from my local breakers yard for 30 euros with a four week warranty so, uh, let's get to it, get it in there, and it just might work. Alrighty, so there's our pump uh, just physically installed with the electrical connector on. And um, I haven't got the hydraulic lines connected up yet, but I just turned on the key in the car and the, the ABS light uh, is now working normally. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish getting connected up here. Um, just got to get all these hydraulic connections back on here. 
and uh, then we can start bleeding out the hydraulic system because we've lost all of our fluid from the master cylinder here. Right folks, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but I'm basically now bleeding out the new ABS pump. Um, the pipes on the top are the feed lines from the master cylinder. So I've got those nipped up, uh, whereas the four pipes uh, below them are the individual uh, feeds to the four wheels. As you can see we've got hydraulic fluid dripping from them because they're just loose. And uh, so this is just gravity bleeding the pump body uh, to get as much of the air out of it um, before we bleed the uh, individual uh, wheels themselves. Alrighty guys, well for the first time since I have owned this, this car the um, ABS light is now off during normal driving. Uh, just, just back from a little test drive and um, yeah, everything's doing what it needs to do. Um, the first time that I tried it, the, the, the ABS light still came back on. So I went, went in uh, with INPA and it turned out the pump wasn't running. So I just used a ma manual control on that to run the pump. It was just a bit stuck and uh, cycled through the valves and now um, ABS light is uh, doing exactly what it should do. So I'll just turn the car off. I'll turn the ignition back on. You see, you see ABS light on and off. Okay guys, uh, that's about it. Um, so thanks for tagging along and we'll catch you next time.